figure out where, you know, when we do these celebrations and things like that, um, you know, where does where does it say? Um, I, I mean, I, I understand that there's a... Uh, uh, well, our it friend, comes from the feast, maybe. Right, the feast. Uh -huh. yeah. The That's, different feast, yeah. and it, it speaks of that in different pastoral scriptures. It's of different feast days and right. different feast times. And, and I wrote we, one of my letters, one of my letters I wrote is called Rebuilding, and it speaks a little bit about appointed times, seasons, and feast. Right. And, uh, right. and uh, the problem with American Christianity um, we have adopted a lot of paganism within the churches uh, in America, mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. and and don't get me wrong, I, I, you know, the judgment that comes forth is the judgment of righteousness from His Holy Word, and not what I say. But at the same time, this is not a con you know to guilt, condemnation, beat up the church thing. I love the church, I love the bride, I love His remnant, but I can't stand mm -hmm. the the false ways and the apostasy yeah. and the sin and the things that are prevailing within the church yeah. structures that are not, yeah. not to, biblical Christianity. Matthew, not to belabor, belabor the point, but shouldn't you be celebrating Passover, not Easter? Correct. And I was just getting ready to say that that the feast time is the Passover time. And um, But if we, do oh, one of the, if we do one of the feast, Passover feasts or um, uh, some of the other feast um that are recognized in the Bible. I mean, shouldn't we be doing? Shouldn't we be recognizing all of the feast? And um, well, like you, you said, know, we, no. I was just going to say, like you said, you know, just as you know, with Christmas, um, supposedly that's you know a Christian holiday too. And um, the way that I kind of see it, and the relationship that we're supposed to have with the Creator is an everyday, just like you were saying, that why would tomorrow be any different than today? Because if, if we do, rec I mean, uh, we our height of, um, you know, our height of um, recognizing uh, the Lord should be an everyday, it should, the height of, of the anticipation and the excitement and should be an everyday thing instead of just... Right. Mm -hmm. That's okay. correct, and you know, but here's the here's the thing, Jamie, on that whole area that you're talking about. Like, for instance, okay, Christmas, you mentioned something, okay, and and this is this is what's going on, and and I see this in the messianic movement, and I hear a lot of people telling me like, okay, you know, you got to get into this, you got to do that, you got to do all these things, and blah 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 blah, and they they have a lot of good foundational things in the Hebraic roots of stuff, which is very important because the, most of the church in America has missed those things and they have missed the understanding of the foundations of the Old Testament. But even the Messianics, when they do what they do, I've watched the Davidic dances, I've been to Israel, I've done, I've done some studying in these areas of this stuff, but even all of that, I see it absent. And even though they say they believe the Holy Spirit and uh, the understanding of the gifts of the Spirit and different things, I see that totally almost void and absent of the of, of, in the midst of, of, of most of the messianic movement uh, in America itself today mm -hmm. and so what happens is when Christmas comes well that's a pagan holiday and such and such okay sure the tree thing and the tree deal and all that stuff is added to the, all the stuff about the paganism this and that but I'm going to tell you another thing the fact is okay Jesus sure wasn't born on December 25th and the reason why is because most of the study what I've done on this was that he was born in the fall and during the, the time of the late fall feast because the shepherds were still in the field at that time and that's why they knew that he was born in the fall of that time because the shepherds were in the field whereas if it had been later on in the winter the shepherds would not have been in the field and so during this time and this is what I see about this is that my acknowledgement is not around materialism when it comes to Christmas it's not around the paganism and the trees and all this and that you know, everybody likes the Christmas tree kind of thing. Everybody likes the lights, and it, it's you know, it's it's where your heart is. And Some. It's, it's a matter of where the, it's where your heart is. And and the thing is, is that my celebration is, is that if I throw that out at the door, because we call it all paganism all of a sudden, one hundred percent. Well, then we're also taking that one time of the year representation is according to the churches and according to even the non-believers that understand and acknowledge Christmas about Jesus Christ being thrown, you know, the baby being thrown out with the bathwater idea, and then all of a sudden it, it's not like, let's forget about that too. Mm. And I don't see, um, 
Yeah. And so then we don't celebrate any of that. Well, then we don't even celebrate the, the birth okay. of Jesus Christ okay. then all of a sudden. All right, let me, let me just end with this one. One more question on this area. We'll move on. This is from the, uh, uh, the uh, Fast Blast. Uh, shouldn't you be eating unleavened bread, fruit, and no meat for a week, no yeast products for a week? <laughs> you know, it does give some descript uh, biblical descriptions during the Feast of Passover and the different feasts of what you should be doing, shouldn't do. And what I what I say is that it's okay to follow where your heart is, to, but be led by the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and don't let it become legalism and law. Even though I love the law of God and His commandments and I will obey His word, however, I do not mm -hmm. take it under the law law. I take it into the, you know, not sewn on tablets, but sewn in my heart by the Holy right. Spirit. Okay, well, let's get to some serious questions now. Uh, this is from the uh, the live chat. Uh, did Adam have a belly button? <laughs> That's a real serious question there, huh? Now the, you know, James is over I'm, laughing, I'm sure, okay? I'm, I'm sure he did. Uh, you know, the, if you got one and everybody else got one, and God created man yeah. in his image and, mm -hmm. and created him, I'm sure, and, and it said in his image. You know, I was reading a scripture today. It talked about... Uh, and God's heart was, was full of pain, in a sense, when he mm -hmm. saw what he saw on the earth of the mm -hmm. lasciviousness before he destroyed yeah. the, the earth uh, in the days of Noah. Um, let me ask you something. Uh, you talk, do you think that any of, the, any of these things coming on the earth, including these recent tornadoes and this 5.9 earthquake, uh, is this a deity retribution against humankind for its sins? Um, you know... The things that are coming on the earth is exactly because God is judging the earth. He's judging the earth because of the sins of mankind, and, and that's a very good question that you're asking. Uh, i just share a couple, couple little things here to give some foundations. It says that um, uh, when God created the heaven and the earth, he gave dominion over the earth, a man, man to have dominion over the earth and all that's in the earth and within the earth, and that was in Genesis chapter 1, uh, around verse 26 there. And in Genesis uh, 6, it says that the Lord God said that my spirit will not contend with man forever, for he is mortal. And when we read, we read on in that same chapter, it says that the Lord saw how great man's wickedness was on the earth and how it all had become uh, completely wicked and all of their thoughts of their heart was evil. And at that time, the Lord was grieved, it said, and he made man... Uh, and, and, and during that time when he created the heavens and the earth, he, he, he was so grieved at what had happened that he made man and said his heart was filled with such pain. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, he feels that, you know, if you weep, he weeps. Yeah. If he weeps, you weep, you know, and this time. So, he, you know, we think God doesn't have a heart. He doesn't have this. And he said he created us in his image. And it says at that time he was so grieved over that he had wiped mankind off the earth. And he said he had wished he'd never created man at the time. And so when we see that... One of the reasons God judges, and we see these kind of things, but and we have to understand that that there, you know, Noah found favor with God. He had he he had favor with God in God's eyes, and he was a. It was considered that he said he was a righteous man and blameless. Now, there's a very strong point here. The reason he said that he was righteous and blameless among the people of the people he walked with in that time and that day before yeah. God, as he walked with God. Mm -hmm. But when we see Abraham come. It says that God appeared to Abraham, and he walked with him, but it said that God told Abraham, walk before me mm -hmm. and be blameless. Where, where Noah, it said that he was a righteous man who had favor with God, but it says he was blameless. And so automatically, you know, there's a difference between that and, and walking and trying to be blameless, in other words, be through the mercy of God and His grace. Uh, Matthew, let me ask you. <laughs> yeah, he's you're, bringing judgment on that okay, you, based on the sin. Okay, your visions and your prophecies that you have uttered, do, were any of those prophecies that you, the, and, and visions of the soon coming destruction, were any of those, did you have those autonomously, that is, you did not, say, read about them in a biblical text, that you got those in a dream or whatever, and then later you read maybe an exact description of some sort of uh, Armageddon type of scenario in the Holy Writ? Or did you read that and then have those visions? Uh, no, you know...